Hello. Hi everyone, hope you're well and welcome to Goggle Frogs on this Wednesday evening. Um, as you can see, it's just me at the moment. Angela has been home for about 20 minutes um, and so she will be joining us very, very shortly. Um, so I do hope you're safe, I do hope you're well um, and uh, we'll see how we uh, get on this evening. Um, I hope you've got uh, something nice to knit or crochet or another project that you're working on. Uh, and um, I hope you've got something nice to drink as well. Sadly, I'm at work, so I'm just on Diet Coke. Um, so I will have a tipple tomorrow night because I have a lovely three day weekend ahead of me, which is going to be beautiful. Uh, and we are planning um, as the, um, the social distancing has been relaxed slightly this evening from Saturday, we are frantically planning to go to Kent on Saturday to see Gary's mum uh, and I can finish her knitting so that she uh, finish fix her knitting so that she can finally carry on with it after weeks and weeks and weeks of not doing it. So there we go. Uh, so I hope you've got something nice planned for the weekend as well. Uh, and do let us know if the changes this evening affect you in any way um, and what plans you may have already made or be in the making of doing. Um, so. Um, we will, what will we do? I know what we'll do. We'll talk about Facebook page. So uh, if you've got projects that you want to share with us, it is Work in Progress Wednesday. So do um, post those on the Facebook page um, and we'll go through those at some point this evening. So uh, I think, yes, let's do that first. I think we'll go for today's musical interlude, uh, which is courtesy of Helen. So Helen, do enjoy, and I hope everybody else enjoys it as well. I'm all right, thank, fine, you. thank you. How are you? Much. Yes. If I do hear, good. It's because my dad's ringing me back. We were just doing timing, and okay. I think that the machine uh, ran out of juice, so it might ring me back. I don't know. Or he might have just thought, that's enough. <laughs> okay. Right, folks. So that was Helen's musical choice tonight, Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. So uh, she thought we might need um, uh, something that's quite sing along to, too, quite calypso -y, a bit different to anything else we've had uh, so far. So um, there is the opportunity for you to pick your musical interludes. Otherwise, I should just carry on picking random stuff that I think everybody will like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, so if you want one just uh, get in touch and let me know what it is and I will do my very very best to find it for you um, so uh, we haven't done hellos so you didn't miss yeah. that bit and what was it when you, when you kicked in the video started again <laughs> it was already about a minute in so we got it again <laughs> oh. Right, uh, top to bottom, bottom to top. Bottom to top. We always like bottom to top. We do like bottom to top. So we start Hello. with Sally. Hi, Sally. We have Marion and Marion. Hi, Marion. And Rebecca's just jumped Hello, in. Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca. Uh, we have Louise. Hello. Hi, Louise. Uh, we have Lindy. Hello, Hi, Lindy. We have Linda. Hello. Hi, Linda. That's Linda Ellis. Uh, uh, we have Hello. Judy. Hi, Judy. We have Hello. Helen. Hi, Helen. We have Georgie. Hello. Hi, Georgie. We have Hello. Dawn. Hi, Dawn. And David. Hello. Hi, David. And then last but not least, the wonderful Hello. Brigitte. Hi, Brigitte. <laughs> so how was your journey down uh it was it was good i set off at about half past 12. oh sorry one second oh, hello, everyone on, replay. Everyone on replay yes i forgot about that as well it's amazing how we just go into bloody i know i know now, i know <laughs> but welcome to Nitta Natter 
we will chat for England. We have yeah. music. We may have a video. Who knows? Um, but just get your knitting out. And I don't have a drink, so I might have to slope off and get a dr drink in a minute. But, um, yeah, so I had um, a nice journey down. I uh, set off, I think, about half past 12. Went to see my friend in Sheffield. Pulled up outside his house and then the phone rang. So I was on the phone for about half an hour. I spent a couple of hours chatting with him. And then social distancing, but, you know, we can move now a little bit. Um, and then came home um, and got in about... Was it half an hour ago? I think. Yeah. So I just had to take some of the things out of the car, find the laptop, find the microphone, find the webcam. Uh, and I did switch the kettle on, but I think I may just pass on that and I may just pour myself a gin. It's quicker, yeah. isn't it? I can't I can't spend the whole five minutes away from this. So um yeah. And, and do you know what I did, right? So I got out of the car. I want you know how so my car's on the road so I walk down the drive practically to the door and I thought what is that pulling on me well this had fallen and was wedged behind the back of my car back the, the back wheel on the car so it's wrapped around me and I'm then being garroted by this blinking thing and it was all the way along the drive. So it's quite funny. So I'm like, I thought it was my top that got that was unraveling and it wasn't, it was this. So um, yeah, still playing yarn chicken, uh, but yeah, this was all a along the drive and then I found it and got it out of the back of the car wheel. So that was that. So. Um, interesting 30 minutes and then my dad ran and then as he's like playing with the screen he cut me off and he kept saying it's only five percent battery so who knows but um, i just said ring me whenever you want to so in half an hour i think i've done quite a bit <laughs> right fine you go get gin have one for me i and want then to come get back. gin thank you i don't have to be asked twice I hope I've got tonic in no, that my, uh, my neat stuff. <laughs> um, right, let's just go through the chat while we're waiting for Angela. So we have lots of good evenings, lots of hellos. Uh, Brigitte, in answer to my question about the relaxed social distancing, says so she's still staying at home. That's absolutely fine. Um, then we have a hello for Angela. Dawn says, hello, everybody. Hope I can stay awake working, decorating, etc. Life is still busy as ever. Uh, well, I do hope you I do hope you manage to stay for the whole session, um, Dawn. If not, we completely understand. Um, my alarm clock's gone off at quarter to five every morning this week. Uh, and I'm so looking forward to three o'clock tomorrow when I can just come home and go <sighs> and have three days off. Um, Brigitte says, brilliant song. Helen says, thank you for that. You're more than welcome. Like I said, anybody else wants one, just let me know. Lindy says, nice start to the evening with musical interlude. David says, hi, everyone. Georgie says, hi. Uh, Rebecca says, hi, everyone. Just finished a gorgeous curry courtesy of my dear husband. Very nice. Uh, and then she says, I think you've earned a gin, Angela. So um, I'm not quite sure, I because I keep jumping in and out this now, I'm not quite sure what video Angela has planned. But we're just going to go with the flow tonight. Um, I am just going to pop that up. Ta-da! Our lovely Goggle Frogs logo. Um, that is ours and ours alone. Makes me so proud when I see it. Um, and obviously it's yours as well, Goggle Frogs. We couldn't do this without you and we are extremely grateful. Hello. Hey. Just. Yes. Yorkshire tonic. <laughs> it's apple and elderflower. And I hope. Oh right, okay. And is that is that glass before or after the tonic? This is after the tonic because I only had a tiny little bit of gin in that bottle. I've still got lots and lots of bottles in the garage. Don't worry about that. But. Um, I thought I, I don't like mis mixing my gins. So um, cheers, everybody. Mm. Enjoy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, 
that's fabulous to knit with. <laughs> Do you know what? Next time I go up to Leeds, I'm getting a crate of that yeah. Yorkshire tonic. It is absolutely amazing. Really, really beautiful. Oh. Um, yeah, and it's natural quinine extract. To keep away the mozzies, obviously, there's no other reason why I'd have natural quinine. <laughs> you recognize these oh, glasses? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they're the, the slopey ones. ones aren't they? Yes, I wouldn't actually. Oh, uh, I'll show you them. They're on a slant anyway, so they're like drunk before you start. <laughs> Thank you. It's a Christmas. Was it a birthday mm -hmm. present or a Christmas present? Yeah, Christmas, I think so. I think. And you got me lots of little gin mixers as well. So, yeah. thank you. Ah, oh. that's all right. You're welcome. Uh, so, Brigitte says you can be proud of the logo. It's brilliant. Thank you very much. Linda says not as grateful as we are for all your stupendous work on our behalf. Keep us knitting and that's me. Ah, oh. you're very, very welcome. We do enjoy doing it, even if it is uh, sometimes a bit frantic trying to make it on time and dip in and out. But uh, okay. we do enjoy doing it. <laughs> uh, Georgie says, cheers, Angela. Apple and elderflower tonic sounds lovely. Yes. Uh, Helen says, cheers, Angela. I've just finished my glass of wine. Now I have tea oh, as work oh, tomorrow. It's work night. It's work yeah. night for me as well, which is why I've got Coke. Sorry. As I don't work, officially, <laughs> if you know what I mean, going out to work every night. A non-school mm -hmm. night. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I've been in. No. <laughs> I know, no, I know, I know. Ah. <laughs> oh. uh, right. Sorry, I'm just trying to load up. Google Froggies ready for later. Oh yeah, we've got quite a few posts in there. That's good. <sighs> What was that deep sigh for? Sorry, I'm doing Russian cast off. Oh, okay. Does that mean you have Fair to concentrate? Bit, but not much. I've only got four to do. Fine. Uh, well, I just can't decide what to do. To With? From not having anything to do to not being able to decide what to do. <sighs> Knitting. So let's look seasonally. We're currently going into summer, so what would you like to prepare for autumn? Uh, Lindy's saying the infamous jumper. <laughs> <laughs> I think the infamous jumper is now becoming another, what is it, lily pond? <laughs> no, 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 at least I'm doing some of it. And I was slightly motivated while I was on furlough you to were. do some of it, but um, I it was going to be my lockdown, uh, my furlough project, and now I'm back working. It'll just have to they wait. Ended furlough <laughs> a year early, a year too soon, didn't they? As with all of these like jumper cardigan projects, they tend to take quite some time. So, well, if you ask me, it's a lifetime <laughs> too soon. Uh, but I do appreciate the fact that, you know, I do live in a lovely house that I have to pay towards. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. I, can't, can't I know, I know, I know. Mm. Oh, oops. <laughs> now, I must remember, I'm on the decrease. So I've got to decrease three after I've done me, done me six wraps, as I call them. Right, okay. Odds on that's yeah. getting Oh. Uh, Marion says some slow gin. Is that you drinking slow gin, Marion, or is that a recommendation for Angela, or or is that that Marion's drinking gin slowly? <laughs> no, she spelt, she spelt it like, like the slow gin. Sorry, I haven't even looked at the chat yet. Sorry about this. Um, All right, that's fine. She says to make over the yeah. winter. Um, 
So Helen says that looks rather large. What my twenty millimeter needles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are a bit. But surprisingly, they're all right are to they? work with. Not as bad as you would think. I quite like big needles. Um, Rebecca's saying, "What infamous jumper?" Uh, I have one started for Erica a huge number of years ago. I'm starting to wonder if it will ever get done. So. Um, the the infamous jumper rebecca and david you won't have seen this yet either uh is a jumper that i started four years ago five years was ago it four, five years? no it was yeah it really really was and um so i don't really do anything other than scarves or shawls when it comes to knitting because i just can't grasp anything but when i went to ali pali I saw that I bought this book five years ago at least, and that jumper just said, "Yes, yeah. make me." Uh, and I really, really like it. And it's being done in Rowan felted tweed in a purpley color with blue flecks and brown flecks through it um but when i got to doing the the front was it the front or the back the back maybe when i got to doing the raglan sleeves it all went wrong and that put me off so i thought right i'll do the front get to the same point and then do both decreases at the same time uh, and get you guys to help me uh, and i was about two centimeters away from getting to that point so <laughs> Uh, like I say, I'm on holiday in three, four weeks' time, so I might pick Aww. it back up then because I will have lots of time because Gary has to work one week of the two, um, and so I can just get on and do some stuff because it's holiday. It's not tired. It's not day off. It's not furlough. So I can just do whatever I want. Really, there we go. Right. So David says gin drinking here too. Let us know what you are drinking. What type of gin are you drinking, David? Because uh, we are, we are becoming quite the the increasing gin, gin drinking club, we aren't we? Are. Um, Everybody off their yeah. favourites. Yeah. So so gin's foul. Uh, Brigitte, who likes a sundowner, or is that Lindy? I no, I think that's Brigitte who likes a sundowner. Normally, a nice glass set of red. So I may have to go and top okay. up soon with a different gin. Mm. Right, okay. <laughs> um, and I recently started drinking gin, didn't I? That's a furlough trip. That's a furlough thing. And that's completely your fault. Me? What? Yes, you. <laughs> Bad influence. <laughs> uh, so... Um, Rebecca says, oh, heck, I just looked on Ravelry and it was started on the 30th of December 2009. Oh, OK. I think Erica may have kind of grown up a little bit in 11 years. <laughs> just a little. Oh. Frog it, yeah. use it for something else. Uh, Marion says, frog to circular jumper yesterday, 410 stitches. I used the wrong yarn. Oh, oh dear. Uh, and then she says, I'll have my GNT later. It sounds like you need your GNT yeah, now. I would say now. <laughs> a whole jo a, a jumper that you've done in the wrong yarn. Uh, Brigitte says, I am the odd one out with my sundowner. Uh, and then Rebecca says, oh dear, at Robert, it was it is a lovely sweater. That yarn is not my favourite as I find it a bit splitty. I have a few projects in it as Marie Wallen used it a lot in one of her workshops oh. she runs. Okay. Uh, Marion says during you didn't cut it. Oh, that's when you're going to have your gin. Okay, that's fine. I might make let you, off. you didn't cut and it to tonight. Oh, really? Oh, wow. I'm that would be amazing. I'm here. I'm home. So, oh, wow. yeah. So, I'm going to jump on and, and be on the other side and watch you. Oh, no, fair. No, you should be on here with me. No, no it's your <laughs> show. No, no, no. No, I'm kidding. Honestly, I, I wouldn't no, put that pressure. Really, I'd be fine with um, it, but it's your show. It's not my. It's not our show. It's yours. 
Right, so let's clarify here. So for those of you that uh, have never seen, you didn't cut it before. Uh, so eight weeks ago now, in fact, eight weeks ago today, uh, I started an after show, a bit like The Apprentice, you're fired. And Marion, this is completely your, um, I'm giving you credit for the name of this. Uh, I made a show called You Didn't Cut It, which was supposed to be the after show to The Great British Sewing Bee, in the hopes that I would still be on furlough when it was still going. Uh, and then three weeks ago, I got unfurloughed. So what we now do is instead of me talking afterwards and writing loads and loads of notes during the show, uh, we now talk live during the show, which is hilarious because I'm downstairs on the TV with my Bluetooth headphones in with the laptop next to me and you get to see my reactions live and I get to read out your chat and you get to have your say as well. And it's really, really quite funny because sometimes the, the stuff that Joe Lysette says just wow. Uh, anyway, right. So David says his favourite gin is Larios from. I've never Spain. heard of it, but I'm on my little app, Gin Ventry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So there's a few here, David. We've got 12 premium gin. We've got 150th anniversary citrus, dry rose, indigo. So we've got all of those. Let me see which scores the highest. I think this, oh, well, yeah, the 150-year anniversary, but that's probably the most expensive one. So I'm going to put this in, David, because this is a gin I need to try. <laughs> um, perfect garden issues with the 150 one is, oh, that's weird, apple, which I love, a slice of apple in gin, it's amazing. Or it says dragon fruit. Now, I've never had a fruit more tasteless than dragon fruit. So um, that's quite interesting. Maybe that's because it's never had alcohol I, I know. with it. So um, thank you for sharing a new gin. So that's one that I think, Robert, at some point, oh, I've got news for you as well. At some point, we should do a Bruges tripette. Okay. Let's let's carry on with the chat right. before you say, oh, I've got news. Carry on with that. Right. So Brigitte says she uh, Lindy says Brigitte has the sundown. I stick to soft drinks unless uh, usually unless I'm in certain company of wine drinkers. Mm. Which wine drinkers might they be, Lindy? Not me. <laughs> or me. <laughs> um, <laughs> Claire says good evening, hello. everyone. Hi, Claire. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Uh, Marion says, what flavour is that, David? David says, Larios is the brand, Marion, a lovely mellow flavour. And then you went on to say, and she says, oh, right, I'll try that next time I'm in Spain, all being well in November. Uh, Marion, if you are going, I think uh, a certain co-presenter might want a <laughs> yes, bottle of it. Yes, please, please. Uh, and then... Uh, Brigitte says, I prefer live live talk during uh, the live talk show during the sewing bee. OK, thank you for that. Uh, David says, nice, gentle coriander and orange zest flavour. Citrus for me. Ooh. Oh, that I think that's what he means. That's what he put in, yeah. put in the gin. Ooh. Fruit is just interesting. Looking for garnishes, citrus all the way. Um, Marion says, at David, interesting, I like an orange and marmalade one and gooseberry. Mm. Oh, I've got some gooseberries in uh, the freezer. Might have to cut one in half and stick it in a gin. Uh, Claire says, what she'll be, she'll be along in the morning. Perfect. So I think that means she's coming See you on in to the morning. With, she's definitely coming on to co-present with you in the morning. Me, I, I won't know, know till know, the morning, I'm lovely. afraid. Um, Oh, and actually, I can't tomorrow. I've got a 10 o'clock induction. Don't I've worry. Sorry. Don't worry. Um, Rebecca says, I don't like gin. I usually have a glass of blackcurrant squash. That said, Brenting B gin is produced in Melton Mowbray, and the bottle was designed by a friend of ours uh, who also designed my website back in the day. Rebecca, yeah. okay. that's another one I'm going to have to try. Uh, and Brigitte is saying the Magnificent Seven, Lindy. I think that might be another outing that she drinks yeah. wine with. Uh, Helen says, I have pear gin from Portugal. 
And then Marion says, going to Portugal as well. I'll look out for that, Helen. Look Didn't know they did a pair, Jim. Oh, wow. That's definitely going on the wish list, Bliss, to get in the um, cabinet. And it rates 8.9, so that is very high. Oh. Yeah. And, um, and then Helen says, Sharish is the brand. Oh. Right. So I've no idea. I've never heard of it. Yeah. Oh, Sharish is the one that I tried one night, the blue one that tastes like weird Palmer violets. <clears throat> and I didn't like that one at all, but Sharish do. Oh, is that that Kara Rocha? Um, oh, I don't know. It's a Portuguese. Sharish, let's have a quick look. beautiful beautiful bottle so if you can see that a little bit it's it's shaped like that and it's curved at the bottom as well so i'll put that oh it's in the wish list already <laughs> so. sally says oops soon you may have as many gins as you do yarn now that's i like that idea over 500 bottles of um yeah Although, what I would say is gin goes much, much quicker if me and my mum are together. So. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, needless to say, several bottles are practically at the, at the end now. Uh, it's been lovely having you, you down here for 10 days. So, um, but she's back up home now. So that's lovely. Have you finished the one I got you? Oh no! Have no, you left it here. at home? Uh, no, it's at here. It's in a secret hiding place. Oh, so I can have one of those next. I was going to say. Oh. Because if you're alone, then you might yes. as well have it. I will do. Oh, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous! Oh, but anyway, sorry. Back on to a different thing. When we were talking about, you know, we create a goggle frock. What are you laughing at? <laughs> it just sounds like everybody wants to talk about gin. Never mind wool or knitting. Or... Well, there's a reason because there's gin in this next story as well. <laughs> so don't okay, worry, I'm go not on. going off piste and talking about something not gin-ish. So, um, is it three years ago? Robert wanted to go on, away on his birthday. So anyway, me and Robert ended up going. Is it? Is it four? I think really? it might be. So we went so. away to Bruges, to the hotel I always go to in Bruges. <clears throat> so we had a lovely away day for Robert and stayed overnight and had unlimited ribs and, ribs and beer in Bruges. So it was a lovely, lovely trip. And obviously the whole, you are. Ribs. I just said to everybody, I'm obsessed with ribs. He I is. Love ribs. And there's this place, Ribs and Beer in Bruges. And I don't know how much it is, but it's unlimited ribs. So you get a rack and then you just order and order. It's about 20 huh? euros. It's 20 euros for the ribs and then yeah. the beer on so top. It, it's, it's a great place and the ribs are beautiful they really are and they do one with a chocolate sauce and chili and uh, like normal dry so anyway went there notice i'm talking about food a lot as well so anyway um myself and my husband have been going to this hotel now for 12 years yeah i think it's 11 or 12 years we go back every single year and we just really like it and um anyway i got a hope i got an email from them because bruges is opening back up so um exactly that's why it's so exciting so bruges have had lockdown sorry the whole of belgium's had lockdown for a long time and a few weeks ago the mayor in a 
in, in a seaside resort that I, I go to, the mayor of Coxide or Coxida or something like that. Um, so anyway, he's been talking, they've opened it up. If you're um, an apartment owner, you can go to your apartment. They're, they're just opening the hotels and stuff. So it, it's really nice to see that there's certain countries who've got the, you know, the, the, the rates down to the point that they're starting to open. Oh, you've got your picture. Yeah. Beautiful. 2016. 2016. So that's four years ago. Wow. But it's um oh mystic, the mystic gin, the cherry beer is just like nectar. It you can't taste the alcohol in it, it's just like pop. Um <laughs> although if you're on the lower alcohol ones, they taste like pop. If you're on the higher alcohol ones, they taste like I don't know, treacle or something. Um, so anyway, I got my email from the Hotel Navarra, which is reopening. And I think it was last year when I was there for, our, for me and my husband, not my knitting husband, me and my actual husband's uh, wedding anniversary. And the guy in the bar showed me that app, Gin Ventry. So that's where I discovered Gin Ventry, the app. And I now have hundreds of different gins on there waiting to try. I go through the bottles <laughs> um, and try lots. <laughs> oh. Claire, Claire says gin keeps evaporating in our house. A feature of the of geography, apparently. Is whistling it? innocently. Oh. I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh claire says we do wool or knitting every day i have to save up the gene conversations okay that's fine um and linda says hi all so that's linda phillips hello uh, and i just want to say a big thank you on camera to linda for frantically helping me last night with my mother-in-law uh you're an absolute star oh, thank you cheers well uh, done thank you uh janet says hi everyone sorry i'm so late had computer problems hi Thanks. janet uh sorry you had computer problems no worries um you've missed lots yeah. of gin talk no we've got one from you never late you just come and go as you can if you can and a, and a very calypso musical yeah. introduction with helen uh lindy says i was very i'm was very impressed with inventory just recently even though i don't drink the stuff it, it's a fab little app it's just oh an emporium so and the other thing last time i went to belgium as we always go during the week so we can get into any restaurant we want any for lunch for dinner etc we don't do weekends but last year we did get go there on the sunday which meant after oh i don't know i think it's 10 years of eyeing up the bruges gin club which is a converted shop that you have to knock on the door and the owner has to gain entry for you and there's only 30 people allowed in the bruges gin club so sit so we were wow. there on the sunday and i said i don't care we're going for a late lunch <laughs> or a very very early dinner we, we actually did a late lunch um and we were there at six o'clock on the dot i was knocking on the door i was the first one there and they have over 350 gins in there now my husband hates gin but he managed to have a chocolate gin martini um he had something that was um done in a bourbon cask as well and the last one was a vanilla gin that he absolutely loved so he and, and there's none of the normal gins in there because they've all got to have a hundred percent natural um flavors and this guy really fascinating so we're really talking about gin now the guy who owns it is a lecturer who still gets the Eurostar every so often to lecture at a London University in London. But his absolute desire in life is all things gin. So he bought this, I think he lives above, um, you know, the really tall building. He's got this little gin place that he opens Friday, Saturday, Sunday. During the week, he does odd lecturing in London. 
and he also helps um, write the labels on bottles of gin and assist people who are writing cookery books as well. So he's just following his passion. So amazing what you find out when you're drinking gin with people. Hmm. Um, Janet says rum is, the, is her drink of choice and cider, but not in the same glass. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, now, the funny thing with cider for me is I can't stand apple or pear cider. It's just too dry. But I love fruit ciders. Ah. Um, Brigitte says, I like the smell of rum, but cannot bear to drink it. Helen says, I only like the spice one, like yeah. Kraken. It's a nice one. Yeah, it's, it's right. really dark brown. Uh, and Janet says she's uh, old rosy, so I'm assuming that's the one that yeah, she's drinking. Yeah, that one. Mm. Oh. Um, actually, while I'm at the end of the row, shall we do um, Facebook before we get yeah. even more carried away? Oh, old rosy is fighting cider. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. And Rebecca says, uh, oh, no, then Janet says, Old Rosie is the best cider in the world. Oh. Uh, oh I think uh, now you've said that, I think I've heard of it, actually. Um, it's proper Somerset cider. Yes, I have heard of it. And they do fruit ones, yeah. which is why I've heard of it. Uh, Rebecca says, I have a great recipe for banana and pecan cake, and it is a rum syrup you make and pour over it. Oh, that sounds nice. Very nice. I like the sound of that one. Mm. I may have to borrow that recipe and convert it to gluten free. Oh, are you um, are you gluten free yes. on this Saturday? Yeah, nine o'clock again. And my okay. super duper quick okay. broadband is getting installed tomorrow afternoon. Oh wow! So fingers crossed, things are going to be better. <laughs> Oh, Lindy, I, I completely agree. I definitely completely agree. Rebecca's cake sounds like another one for Sheringham. And if you don't know about Sheringham, um, Sheringham has been an annual retreat for Nicole. Shh, shh, what? Shh, shh. You can only talk about Sheringham when you're at Hello. Sheringham. No, I'm kidding. Go on, carry on. Sorry. I've always wanted to say the Fight Club thing. What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can only talk about Fight Club if you're at Fight Club. I've never watched Fight Club. Is that off the film? Yeah, yeah but nor have I. But everybody says it. <laughs> anyway, like go go out. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so if you're not aware, there's been this annual convention, which is just like this for what was two days. It's now, well, it used to be two nights. It's now three nights. Four, four days three nights um so we all go to this place in Sheringham oh my god my neighbor's coming round and I'm on a, a thing I can't speak to her <laughs> oh god um so that's funny so um yeah so it's it's just lovely that we can all spend four days just knitting our food is prepared for us we can put our slippity slips, our slippers on, and it is just four days of heaven for crafters. Um, so then that when we talk about Sheringham, it's by the sea, we have guest speakers, we have workshops. It's all full for next year, but um, I'm sure at some point we will go again. But we fingers crossed that it's gonna get we're gonna get there because it's um who knows what's happening. Uh, but I'm touching wood and, and I have faith. I have faith that the world will be open. If Bruges is opening and taking hotel book, bookings, we have got to be open by January. So. <laughs> right. Um, Rebecca says her cake's not gluten free, though. Well, maybe you do your version and Angie tries right, to make I'll it. Don't worry, well. I'll do an extra one for us gluten free peeps. We all have the same cake. Uh, Marion says definitely. Rebecca says the first rule of sharing them is you don't talk about sharing them. 
Jacqueline says, what happens in Sheringham stays in Sheringham. Well, except the yarn, that comes home with us. And except the video of Brigitte dancing, which I still have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that should be Brigitte's penalty. If she misses Goggle Frogs one day, that's when we play Brigitte's Aww. dancing video. I wouldn't do that to her. I really wouldn't Never. do that to her. Uh, Claire says the first rule of Sheringham is that you don't talk about Sheringham. And then she said, go and have a chat with your neighbour. It's like, I'll go, I'll go around uh, there in, in, in a little bit after this is finished. Have I got half an hour before the next one? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Linda says you should try Rebecca's Auntie Daisy fruit cake. It's so good. I made it for my wedding cake. Oh, how wow. lovely. Yes, no, we definitely need to uh, hear do. all about that. We do. Uh, Marion says another one for Sheringham, definitely. Brigitte says they can keep all the cruises and package tours. All I want are the Magnificent Seven tour Aww. and Sheringham. And then she called me a little monkey. <laughs> uh, and then David says I need to find out more about Sheringham. Right, David, there is a Sheringham Facebook page. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Let me have a quick look. It's my own Facebook page. I should know. Uh, it's called Sheringham 2021. Yeah! Go find it. Oh my god! Ow! Could you warn Sorry. me next time, <laughs> <laughs> David? Just go find the Facebook page. It's called Sheringham 2021, uh, and you'll find out all the latest information and updates on there. Although at the moment it's very very quiet because. Uh, normally by now, what are we yeah. now? June? Nearly July? Yeah, halfway through June? Normally by now, everything's done, dusted, planned, bought, paid for. Uh, but I haven't done anything this year because the pandemic hit, and I'm so glad that I didn't, just in case we don't actually get to go. However, if we do get to go, it's then going to become frantically busy trying to organise it. So it may not take the same shape that normal Sheringham's do, but we'll we'll see. It will um, because right. you you have to have everything precise and right. So I know it will, and I'll help. You, don't worry. I know you always help me. You're lovely. All I have to do is say I've had this idea for sharing, and she'll go, "Yeah, just do it." <laughs> what colour do you want that one? <laughs> so these are colour, yeah, no, okay, they look brilliant. Do you think I should do this? Yes. <laughs> You have all the brilliant ideas. All I just do is just confirm your idea. Although somebody did have the brilliant idea this year of making it a four day. So it means I have a day, well, half day, really, because it's Friday morning to Friday afternoon, where I just don't have to worry about anything. We're not going to plan anything. And I get a little yeah. bit of chill time. So anyway, right. Uh, Rebecca says her... The Auntie Daisy cake is one of my great Aunt Daisy's recipe, hence the Auntie Daisy cake. Uh, Claire says, Brill, my friend made lemon sponge for my wedding cake. It was the best thing, as it was one less thing for me to organise, and I love or uh, lemon sponge. Yes, Aww. lemon sponge. Your lemon sponge, Angela, is just lovely. Absolutely Thank lovely. You. Uh, David says he's joined. That's good. I'll accept you in between this and the next one. Uh, Claire says still seven months to go yet. Is it seven months? June. Can't, I guess so, yeah. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, seven months. We'll be fine. Okay. We'll be fine. They'll open up for us. I'm telling you, 2021. Uh, and then Helen says, no worries. We will, be, we will all be happy to be able to go. And she's also happy to help too. And Marion says, me too. But then it doesn't become a holiday for you, does it? And it's supposed to be a nice, relaxing, chill weekend for everybody. So uh, workshops, I really appreciate the help for the workshops. Uh, and uh, I've been told not to run a workshop this year. So... Uh, <laughs> not allowed. Just so I can curl up in my bed I was asleep, I think. So they, they enjoy somebody else's <laughs> workshop because you always run one. And I want you to sit down and enjoy one. Anyway, right. Uh, it's 20 past. Let's do some uh, Froggle Gogs paging. Uh, or, 
no, what am I doing? That's what I'm doing. Um, bom, 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 bom. Right, here we go. Uh, so, Linda has posted this lovely blues and green That's something gorgeous. or other. Linda, you don't see what it is. It, I'm guessing it's a work in progress, but you don't actually say what it is. So uh, I'm going to assume it's a jump or a cardigan because that of the size was of it. Specifically to suit to map the um, music at the beginning, which was under the sea. Under the sea, sea colours. Yes. Oh, oh. Nice. Like it. Okay. Uh, and then. Dawn has posted work lovely stuff oh. colour changes. Oh, that's a work. That is guy. beautiful. Well, I'd best kick up, crack on with mine, that's not I? Um, Dawn, what wool is it? And then... Be no, Beaches is the other one that, she, that Dawn posted about. I can't remember. Oh. Uh, and then this is Marion's workday scarf. In blues. It's lovely. Beautiful. Trish says, I think I have a bit of a bird theme going on with my choice of hat patterns. The other day was a memoriation hat from the Cat and Sparrow, and today it's a Curlew hat, which is free download from Ravelry. However, the RSPB are asking for a donation to their Curlew recovery program. If anyone decides That's to make beautiful. One. Oh, very pretty. I love the pom pom. It's gorgeous. Uh, Rebecca says, This is the first time I've tried this against a bed. Definitely needs to be a bit wider and longer, too. I should be sewing in the next set of ends while watching tonight. Wow. That looks like just colours are well amazing. Done, well done. Yeah. Uh, playful shawl Ooh, progress. Sally. The orange Nova. If I should use for a brioche project instead. Oh no, Sally! I love that. I really love that. And can I just say, I caught up on yesterday's goggle frogs yeah. this morning before work, and you were right. I do love that <laughs> orange. And I was so pleased with myself this morning because I worked out how to have YouTube on while I'm driving, but only audio. So I don't actually lose, get distracted by, by wanting to watch it. So that was brilliant. And that's how I knew. So that's what I'm going to do every day now is uh, on my drive to work, which is now on my drive home from work. I'm going to catch up on all the Google frogs oh. I've missed. So I shall catch up eventually. In between Harry Potter, of course, because I'm really enjoying Harry Potter at home at the moment. Harry Potter? Were you listening to the books again? No, 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 no. Well, kind of. So, um, sorry, sorry, folks, getting distracted again. Uh, 20, uh, uh, J.K. Rowling released the license for um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So, therefore, anybody who wanted to use it, uh, it was free to use and without um any kind of comeback but it's only while we're in lockdown so i think it's going soon so what um her company uh, who run the wizarding world website decided to do was reach out to famous people and get them to read chapters of harry F potter and the philosopher's stone so i'm currently up to chapter 11. uh they released two chapters oh. a week so you can listen to that on the way in, uh to um from Thank work you. as well so that's fine. And the best one so far has been chapter six, where they got the Broadway cast of The Cursed Child to read. So they had the guy who plays Harry in the Broadway show being the narrator. And then they had all the other characters from the show do the voices of different characters. It was a bit like a dramatization. Brilliant. Wow. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Sorry. Right. So we got distracted. So, yes, I really like that orange. And Dawn has just said, really? sorry, Brigitte says, yes, that orange is great. And Dawn's just said, Rico fashion cotton, light and long, 47% cotton, 
four to 6% acrylic, 7% 7, 7 polymade for the, for the workday scarf that Dawn's working on with the lovely um, colors. It's beautiful to knit with and it's a chain yeah. yarn. I call it my Italy scarf, yellow for the lemons, blue of the sea and the sky and pink for the sunburn. That is so cute. Um, so Linda says not much to see yet I'm just a few rows into the lace pattern on the front of my jumper it's knitted in King Cole Mirage from my stash I've had it so long it's discontinued I love these colours oh well do show us a picture as soon as you can Linda uh, Marion says second work in progress only 158 stitches using Hayfield Blossom a baby dress oh. I think that's going to look lovely. I love the subtle green um and then marion says work in progress wednesday 410 stitches oh i think this is the one that she's frogged yeah that's i'm sure that's the one that she's frogged oh that wall looks lovely though marion the colors in it uh brigitte said decided to do a row of slip stitch onto the, in onto the previous one it made nice finish however when doing the slip stitch i discovered too many missing chains between the spikes so I had to frog it. Oh no! It is beautiful, but I love those two colours together. I love the white and the red. Uh, and then Deborah says, "Sorry, she can't be with us. She's quizzing Yay! and zooming with friends." I, I'm uh, sure she's had a fabulous quiz, and I really hope that Deborah's won the quiz. And then I don't know how far you got. Yes. Oh no, this is today. So David, uh, I think this is your oh. first post, David. As I'm on diet i'm using up all my odds and ends on this throw each color changes an individual strand of yarn knotted to form the fringe it'll be a square when it's finished so it's going to take That's a while amazing. wow i love that i really Stunning. really love that mm. i've got a shawl in my cupboard um somewhere that's done very similarly you um you leave your ends loose and then knot them as you go up um so that you you haven't got any ends to weave in and each row is a different color change i love the fact that this it looks almost a mint green in there and i think that just totally yeah. changes the tone of the that whole colorway mm. yeah i love really that. like that and i'd be curious to know what kind of size that is at the moment and how big it's likely to get no um and we go back into yesterday's comments. Uh, did, did you show this yesterday? Oh, no, I did. Georgie. Okay. Wow. Uh, so yeah, if you're if even if you aren't ready to tackle a project like this, the patterns are a joy to behold and free until June the thirteenth. Wow. I think that fillet crochet or Irish crochet. Uh, oh dear, excuse me. Um, and then that's it. We're back Yay. to um, some beautiful to work. Well done, all you goggle froggers. Absolutely stunning work. What is it tomorrow, Thursday? Yeah, we, what do we do on a Thursday? It is freehand Thursday. Thursday. Okay. So, um, yourself, no, no pattern, just yeah, freehand. Fab. Uh, Lindy says I did send a description as another post. It's a jumper and has a lace diamond heart motif along the top of the front. It's knitted in King Cole Mirage. It's from my stash. Oh, hang on, no, that's Linda. Was uh, that Lindy yes. who'd shown the blue, the blue and the green under the sea colours? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Sally says my orange yarn is Milama soft sock yarn 75 percent wool uh and the color is marmalade um, marion no didn't frog that it's a new one. Oh, okay that's fine uh and got to go got to eat before you didn't cut it bye oh, bye bye marion uh claire says lovely work david and helen says off to do chores before sewing bye, bye helen so there we go. So yes, tomorrow, folks, is um, freehand Thursday. So do pop your pictures in um, 
for us to show well for Angela and Claire to show yeah, tomorrow. I've got anything to show? I will do, but I, I have no idea. I seem to be in one house, then another house, one house, then another house. Oh. So, here for a few days until I need to go back to the hospital for my dad. So, I think I'll go back on Sunday, mm. Sunday or Monday, one of the two, anyway. So, um, but hey ho, vulnerable adults and all of that. I'm allowed to move. So, uh, well, I think there's been some beautiful work and I'm being put to shame now because, do you know what? I want Tesla to get cheaper so then I can get a Tesla car and I need the law to change in the UK so I can sit in the driver's seat, it can take over and I can knit. That's what I need. Because of three and a half hours I've been on the motorway today, I could have done loads of knitting. So either that Aww. or we just get chauffeurs. So, <laughs> oh dear. So I can't believe it's 29 minutes past. Oh my word. Where's I, that hour gone? It has gone very quickly. And um, I do need to go because I've got like 20 minutes before and I've got to move downstairs, fill up my drink and do something else in between. So um <laughs> uh, have a lovely time tomorrow have a lovely show i will be thinking of you i'll put a random piece of music on for you uh so do enjoy it and i will see you all on saturday yeah i didn't warn you about that one either but it wasn't as loud oh no <laughs> have a fabulous sewing okay, bee okay. and i will be watching and see you all tomorrow <laughs> thank you for joining us and hello to everyone on replay um, love you, Goggle Frogs. Bye.